Hey everyone, I wanted to say thank you all so much for 8,000 subscribers on YouTube and 100 on my second channel. I gotta say I'm really flattered by the amazing community I have. Whether it's on Twitter or Discord, Patreon or Ko-fi, you guys have made my time here a blast. With that said, to celebrate, I'll be holding an 8,000 subscriber special question and answer video. I made a tweet a couple days ago asking you guys for questions and boy, I got a lot. So without further ado, let's start. Citrus asks, what's your favorite video you've ever made, and if you weren't a fox, what animal would you have chosen for your Sona and why? My favorite video would have to be my Lonely Goomba collab video. As for inspiration, I have one word. Money. It's aged a bit, but the fact I got to work with one of my favorite YouTubers I looked up to as a kid really makes me proud, even if it's not my most popular video. It definitely marks the start of my new content. That you're out of here. Sayonara, Goomba. As for the second question, I would have probably chosen a black bear with a mustache, cargo shorts, and a plaid shirt. Unfortunately, due to brand recognition, the fox stays for now. Nathaniel asks, what game do you think is criminally underrated? You know, that's kind of hard, but for indie games, I would say Crossnick Plus is very underrated. It's a puzzle game with a Y2K aesthetic, addictive gameplay, and a banger soundtrack. It never really hit its stretch goal, so while the game did come out, and it's very high quality, the community never talks about it, so I really hope to do a review for it someday, though. Neki asks, Smash Tournament win. Bonehead asks, if you could cosplay as any non-furry character, who would it be? Uh, it would most definitely be Coach. Coach is amazing. Miles asks, since you're pretty much almost at 10,000 subs on YouTube, what will you do when you reach it? Uh, to be honest, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, I do plan to collaborate with a lot of bigger YouTubers and do some sort of special live stream. When I do, it'll be epic, so anything could happen between now and then, but stay tuned and I'm sure something cool will happen. Alright, Thez asked a lot of questions, so here's a bit of a speed round. Why and how did you become a furry? Uh, long story short, two lesbians in my high school art class. Long story, not explaining today. What's your favorite part of making videos? Well, I would say bringing my ideas to life via video and watching people laugh and enjoy them. Why did you get into content creation? Well, I wanted to make things people could enjoy, and I like to imitate some of my favorite YouTubers. What's the one thing you don't need to live that you couldn't go one day without? For me, music. Music is something I absolutely need to listen to every day or I cannot function. Any odd hobbies? Uh, I think being a furry is pretty odd. What song would you say best sums you up? Uh, I'll probably say two of them. First one is Move Me from Ridge Racer Type 4. There's no words, but it's a very moving song. It, it, you gotta listen to it. And Clocks by Coldplay. Absolute banger I have loved since the day of my conception. Kyrie asks, who would win in a fight, Goku or John Cena? Uh, definitely John Cena. Uh, Goku could never see him, and Goku can't hit what he can't see. Are you a fox wearing a skin suit? Uh-oh, they're on to me. Juan 23 asks, is your Twitter account still Australian? Nope, that was a long time ago. Uh, for people that don't know, uh, when I had to make a new Twitter account, I got it set to Australia, which was really funny. But nope, it's, it's set back to the United States now. Charlie asks, have you ever foreseen yourself in the position you are in now today? Honestly, no. I was pretty sure I'd be destined to be some sort of internet loser, but now I'm an internet loser with friends, and it honestly makes me happy that you guys are here. Ken asks, do you still have that maid dress from that other video? Also, have you ever thought of making merch, like potentially a plush or a shirt? Honestly, not yet. I'm far too niche of a YouTuber to start selling merch, and if I did, I want it to be of a good quality and not expensive. I'm considering stickers, but for now, I'm happy with the basic support I get from everyone that watches. Soul asks, what's the hardest part of being a YouTuber besides editing? The hardest part for me would have to be making interesting and engaging videos that people want to see. 
And while I make things for myself that interest me first, I still want to make things people will enjoy. Also, Beat Saber video win. There you go! My PC can barely record this, so maybe when I get better parts in the future, I'll make a dedicated Beat Saber video. Doodle TJ asks, I'm really bad at Q&As. What should I ask you? Well, you just ask your question. Here's a complimentary cookie, though. Wolfen asks, Do you have any more characters I can bend their genders? No! You've done enough damage to my brand! <laughs> but I still love it, though. Coast Jam asks, How do you feel about Goku from J-Star's Victory Versus and Fortnite? That game had its opportunity and failed. I mean, can Goku do this in J-Star's? I didn't think so. Also, how does this make you feel? Alright, I'm going to the casino. Let's go! Oh, oh no, the first one's an A. What? No, you. wait, no! I wasn't paying attention, that's... Oh my... No, wait, no! <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm still pretty salty about that. I hope the devs fix that. And you know what they say, kids. If it's not in the montage video, it never existed at all. Why is your OC a fox? Was there any cartoon character that gave you inspiration for your OC? Uh, I would probably say Todd from The Fox and the Hound was an early inspiration. Other than that, I just kind of like foxes because they seem so elusive IRL. And before I had access to the internet, I didn't know how overused foxes were. But to me, I personally like them in my own little vacuum. Booga asks, why are you? Uh, because I am. Blue Pixeling asks, what is the origin of your username? All right, so I actually answered this question a long time ago and there's a bunch of different details that kind of add up to the whole story. But to simplify the story, it's more or less a pun of the word potato. And with my name being Tay, I thought it would just be a good fit. So, you know, Tay, potato, you know, I threw him pro because I thought it was pretty cool. And like I said, there's some other details I can't share right now, but that's basically it. Cool Pringles acts. Pretzel or biscuit? Hmm, you know, I'd have to go with pretzel. I really like those soft baked ones that they sell at the uh, malls and stuff. Those are really delicious. Uh, as for the cat, um, biscuit. Werewolf enjoy your axe. Werewolves, yes or no? I think werewolves are cool, so yes. Drew Tunes axe. What is your favorite decade, culturally speaking? As much as I love the 70s and 80s in terms of just the aesthetics and stuff, I would probably have to say the 90s. I feel like so much was accomplished during that time period, not to mention the optimism people had for the turn of the century coming. And while it's been beaten to death via nostalgia pandering advertisements, I enjoyed the 90s era for what it was. Dear Thing asks, Favorite game genre? Are you more of an old school or new game type of person? My favorite game genre would have to be arcade. I'm very fond of short games with fun mechanics you have to master like Pac-Man, Windjammers, or Tyco. Um, I mean, it kind of picks up my short attention span, and it's just fun to go back to a game I could easily jump into, do a few rounds, and be done with it. It doesn't mean I don't like AAA games and long game experiences, but it has to be really engaging for me to be able to tie myself into something like that. Funky Studio asks, what do you think of this image? <laughs> Rachel asks, what do you think is your worst video and why? <laughs> I think a lot of my old stuff was cringy. You can see it in this playlist over here. But I would have to hand it that award to the first version of my Lonely Goomba collab. It was edited on the phone, and this was before I had a PC. And I hope no one ever watches it. It's just absolutely a cringe fest. I don't like the quality, but, you know, it kind of shows how far I've come. But yeah, I really don't like that video anymore. Really remarkable. So with that in mind, it leads to our next question. How much of an influence do you think you are to the community, and what inspires you as a creator? Me? Have you seen my channel lately? It's dead. The only people I'm influencing are a few unfortunate souls who stumble upon it by mistake. Big Cosmic asks, what editing software do you use? Uh, I use DaVinci Resolve. I'm not too fond of Adobe, and next to OpenShot, this is probably one of the best editors I've ever used. There could be other good ones out there I'm not too knowledgeable about, but as for now, DaVinci works for me, and I like using it. 
Chip asks, Opinions on the ongoing rebellion in numerous outer planetary colonies, and the UNSC sending in marines, and the other forms of military to forcefully silence them, and the rumors about tank men being deployed on the battlefield to silence the aforementioned farmers? Uh, sounds intense? ZipZoob asks, Favorite cereal mascot? So, it used to be Captain Crunch, but Chip the Wolf is my current favorite. Anti-Ibuprofen acts. How is your mental well-being? So, imagine my mental sanity is a sinking ship, and memes keep it patched from sinking. So, that's basically my mental state right now. Nero asks, What is your least favorite thing ever? That award would go to my elementary school. The principal was racist, the gym teacher turned out to be a pedophile, and so many other screwed up things were happening in that school, I'm surprised it's not shut down to this very day. Just someone here lol asks, Can you send your gallery on my birthday? Well, here's a link to my gallery, just scan this QR code. How many horror games have you played? Uh, none. I'm a big baby that hates being jump scared. Would you play horror games in daylight since you're terrified of atmosphere? Yes, I'm the type of guy that reads the comment section while Markiplier is playing FNAF on the little screen above me. Lanul asks, why a fox? Well, because foxes are amazing. Noble asks if I'm a plumpus or a gaxter. I'm most definitely a gaxter. Nettie asks, how did you make your infamous cardboard head? So that's a great question. I actually found a fox base on a European website a few years ago, and I built it out of cardstock. The eyes and other parts are all custom made by me, so it's partially I used a guide, partially I custom made it. Uh, if I ever find the website, I'll definitely link it though. Net asks, worst editing software go? That award would go to Adobe Premiere. Scummy pricing and constant crashing with no regards to community feedback make it the worst in my opinion. Is there a wrong way to eat a Reese's peanut butter cup? Uh, I don't think so. Personally, I like to freeze them and eat them. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? So, MatPat determined it takes about this many to reach the center, but the simple answer is... The world may never know. What's the average air speed velocity? Uh... There you go, buddy! What's the answer to the meaning of life, the universe, and everything? Heh. <laughs> 42, of course. Don't think you can slip a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference past me, buddy. What is your dream job? I would honestly say to be a full-time content creator making things on YouTube or streaming for you guys to enjoy. Why do they call it oven when you oven the cold food out of the hot eat the food? Ah, nice trick question, but we all know John is actually having a stroke there. Why do they call it oven when you oven the cold food of out hot eat the food? Hmm? Radicat asks, Egg? Yes! Mike asks, Has there been any videos in the past you wanted to make, but for whatever reason, couldn't? Alright, so I've always wanted to make one of those god-tier YTP edits or sprite animations like Mario's Castle Calamity, and right now I lack those skills, but I hope to do something like that in the future as that's the kind of content I grew up on and really love. Collected G asks, How different do you think life would be if everyone had their arms and legs swapped? Uh... I think it would be interesting, however, I wouldn't trust anyone with a foot fetish. Nick Games 8 asks, I have access to a few people, but what are your unironic opinions on Weezer? Are you neutral, a hater, or do you love them with all your- So I'll be honest, I've never listened to Weezer, so I'm gonna listen to some right now. Alright, uh, never listened to Weezer before, um, pretty excited. Uh, this is their most popular video. This was 13 years ago, though, so I don't know if I should, like, listen to something recent or something, uh, but, oh, this is their most popular one. I'm gonna listen to it. Let's see. Banger. I love it. Okay, so, to be honest, I've listened to them in the past, but I've never actually paid attention to Weezer themselves as a group. But, yeah, Weezer is cool. Pony person acts. Which do you prefer, manual or automatic transmission? Funny you should ask, because I'm pretty fond of the convenience of auto... Uh, you know manual is better. Okay, to be honest, manual is more fun, but I am only slightly prefer automatic when I'm doing lots of city driving. Now, if we're playing a video game like Daytona USA, then it's manual all the way, baby. 
Wow, that was a lot of questions. Holy crap, guys. First off, I want to say thank you all for the amazing questions. It's really nice to have people actually care and want to reply. Uh, but with that said, thank you all again for 8,000 subscribers. I can't wait till we hit potentially 10,000. And you know, we don't know what the future holds, but I hope to keep performing cool things for you guys and whatnot. So I'm kind of rambling now, but either way, like I said, thank you all very much. And remember, stay foxy.